two and a half days out from England, this RAF Lancaster Aries is over New Zealand, with a record-breaking flight over the polar ice cap to her credit and another from England to South Africa, she's heading for Ohakia to break another record. At the aerodrome, visitors rolling up to see the Aries touch down are also out to make a record. A record collection of food coupons in this week's national drive to supply more food for Britain. Price of admission is one coupon. The Aries is coming in. From the control tower, she receives landing instructions. 15 miles, cloud base 2,500 feet, 5 tenths, surface wind, West Norwest, 25, uh, gusting to 35. The runway in use is uh, 27, 27. Is that understood? And here she comes. She touches down just 59 hours, 51 minutes after leaving England. Making the journey in four hops, her total flying time is 55 hours, 29 minutes, which clips 52 minutes off the record. The Aries is to visit other centres, Wigram, Fanuapai and Invercargill, where it'll cost just a food coupon to get a close look at this record-breaking plane, which is equipped with the latest and best navigational equipment known to the RAF. For the crew, this trip has been just a navigational exercise, and if some of them look a little wind-blown, who wouldn't? On their arrival, a letter to the Prime Minister from Mr John Strachey, Britain's Minister of Food, is read by Group Captain Stapleton, who represents the Air Ministry on this mission. Mr Strachey says, I should like to take the opportunity of the flight of Ares to New Zealand to let you know how much we in the United Kingdom have appreciated what the government and the people of New Zealand have done and are doing in providing foodstuffs for this country. It was a happy experience for me to meet Mr. Nash on several of his recent visits to this country to discuss our common problems with him and to conclude with him arrangements for ensuring supplies to this country. It is a real encouragement to us to know that the general public in New Zealand, and particularly the housewives of New Zealand, are giving a helping hand by saving out of their own rations in order that extra supplies may be released for export. Please convey to the National Famine Emergency Committee our thanks for what they are doing to this end. 